Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for Tuesday, December 15, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our signal service, our full technical analysis, and also our live trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we rallied significantly uh, earlier this trading session and then broke down quite significantly today as well. So we got all the way to 1345 and then broke below the 20 exponential moving average. At this point, we may go a little bit lower. We may go towards the 20, 40 exponential, probably the 50. However, if you look at the technical indicators for this currency pair, they are about to turn around. So you can see the stochastic is about to turn around, the RSI is turning around, the, the CCI is turning around, and uh, that is, well, a sign that we may go higher in this market. So the US dollar started depreciating, and, uh, and, and then it basically went all over the place today. So that had quite an effect. But of course, it's the Brexit negotiations. That is what is basically um, making this currency pair so volatile and has been for a very, very long time. It is one of the most difficult currency pairs to trade due to Brexit. So most traders just stay away from this. Most of the time, I'm also just staying away from this, uh, especially when there are negotiations uh, going on because you only... There's so much news going on that it's so volatile. It's just, it's nearly impossible. It's just a complete gamble to, to trade this. But at this point, we are trading right at the 20 exponential. If you break below here, we'll go to the 40 at the 13, 26. And then we have the 15, 50 moving average at 13, 20. So a break above this candlestick here, opens the door to much higher levels. So US dollar, yen, you can see that we have rallied quite significantly. And this is just more of the same. The higher, the closer that we get to the 50 moving average, the better the shorting uh, possibility for this currency pair. And if you can get to the all the way to the 100 moving average here, then it is absolutely a short. The same goes for the, the downside. If we get close to this, it um, this trend line then it is a buying opportunity we have been in this channel for a really long time every time we get to the top of the channel we can short every time we get to the lower part of the channel we can basically buy so this is fairly predictable to trade this uh, you don't technically have to look at the technical analysis but of course they give you an indication where we are going at this point but this channel here the upper and the lower channel have been uh, working out extremely well for a very, very long time now. So if we look at the technical indicators, we can see that um, stochastic has about to turn around. The MACD is fairly flat, has not crossed the signal line yet. RSI is, um, is uh, bearish at this point. CCI is bearish. So technical indicators are fairly all over the place. However, if we get to the 50 moving average here at 104.409, then it's a definitely sell a selling opportunity. As you can see, it has been significant resistant for a very long time. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we rallied all the way up towards uh, 12, 18, and then gave most of those gains back. So we have been in this tight rate for, for a very long time, and we have done this before. You can see here, we did a very similar thing. We just need more momentum in order to go higher in this market. Of course, if the US dollar starts depreciating more, then this will take off as well. If you look at the technical indicators, we are overbought at this point. We are at 71. So be aware to buy this. I would prefer a pullback towards the 20 exponential in order to buy it, in order to get this a little bit lower. The MACD is about to cross the signal line. CCI is flat. The stochastic is basically flat at this point. So at this point, it is buying time. In It is most likely going to go higher, but I think we'll see a pullback towards the 20 exponential before we see this go significantly higher. 
So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we rallied quite significantly earlier in the trade session and then gave most of those gains back. And now we created this hammer. At this point, we are significantly overbought. So we're at 80, 79 right now. Um, the other indicators are fairly bullish at this point. But I think that it is an expect expected for this market to drop towards in this trend line at 0 0.74. That would mean that we could uh, basically buy on the dips here. So a fall towards this trend line or towards the 20 exponential, that's a fall of roughly 1% or 68 pips. And then we would target much higher levels. It is fairly overstretched at the moment. And to buy it at um, 79, that is, that is taking on, on too much risk at this point. So a pullback is needed in order to buy this. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we can see that we broke towards the very lows, pulled back, and at this point, we are trading at 1.276. And I think that we're going to go higher in this market. If you just look at the technical indicators, the RSI is very low. So we're significantly oversold in the RSI, and the other indicators are turning around. So in tomorrow's sessions or on Wednesday sessions, I'm pretty sure that we are going to see a rally up towards the 20 exponential. And then we'll see whether or not this 20 exponential holds. It has been holding for a really long time. So it is to be seen whether or not that holds. But a pullback towards the 20 exponential, that is that is expected at this point. At this point. We are in a downward trend, so there's no reason to buy into this. It is basically sell every rally at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our live trades. So link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.